especially fall if we do start to uh, get a few water restrictions just because of what is happening west of the interstate and across the four corners of the United States. So all that to say, though, let's talk about smoke and fire. I know it's something that, you know, uh, we don't want to, you know, put too much of a negative spin on it. But, you know, we we are looking at several fires that are starting to uh, spark here across parts of I-70, the western slope, uh, most notably the fire we were just uh, referring to. Uh, that fire is going to start to really spread some more smoke across the mountains overnight tonight. This is a kind of uh, a loop over the last uh, or really for the next 12 hours where more of that dense and heavy smoke is going to start to impact areas around Breckenridge I-70 up into the northern mountains and then we'll be a little bit thicker here across Taylor County and Manitou Springs overnight tonight. So if you like to sleep with the windows open to you know, maybe, maybe don't tonight. Just a thought. Just a, just a suggestion, uh, but it is going to be a little bit thicker for some of those locations. Again, we're not talking about, uh, you know, air quality where it's, you know, not safe to be outside. It's nothing to that degree, but just a little bit thicker. So if you're sensitive, which most people are kind of sensitive to the smoke, uh, you just may want to uh, kind of keep that top of mind awareness. Temperatures tomorrow will be even warmer. We'll be well into low 100s across the eastern plains, 95 degrees in Colorado Springs. So a good four to six degrees warmer than we were today. So expect another hot day tomorrow. Upper 90s across southern El Paso County and 83 degrees there uh, for Woodland Park tomorrow. Now we will wake up with some sunshine. Here we go through the overnight hours, so we will expect a mostly dry day tomorrow. Any storms that start to uh, really fire off will do so here across parts of Salida but not until about noon and to about four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Frequent cloud to ground lightning will be a primary concern. Those storms will kind of have an orientation lifting from the uh, southwest to the northeast in terms of the trajectory. So that means places across the foothills west of Denver will see a few little showers uh, on the west side of Denver and parts of the Palmer Divide between that 5 and 7 p.m. time frame for tomorrow. No severe weather expected, uh, but it will be a hot day ahead of some of these storms uh, before they arrive across the mountains tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Notice here on Thursday, we're slightly cooler back in the 80s in El Paso County, upper 90s across the eastern plains. This will be because of a disturbance moving into the state that will uh, give us a reinforcing shot of cooler air uh, by Friday, but it's going to come with some rain cooled air and some cloud cover capping off our heat pretty quickly through Thursday. Chance for a few morning showers and thunderstorms are going to be possible, but I think most of our energy uh, really starts to materialize after that noon time frame. Uh, those storms will be marching across I 25 from that 1 to 4 p.m. time frame on Thursday, and then you'll notice a couple little rounds here into the evening hours. If our uh, atmosphere can recover after several waves of showers, uh, we may be completely stable by the time uh, that secondary round is likely to form here for Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. And you know, it's no longer really looking like we're going to get uh, severe weather on Thursday, as we were previously mentioning. So it looks like that's going to be more of a general thunderstorm risk for us, just based on the dynamics in place but an unsettled end to the work week altogether and certainly cooler temperatures as we go back into the 60s for places like Woodland Park, which will mean places like Pueblo. You'll go back into the 70s and 80s on Friday and then Saturday even cooler. So we are looking for uh, even cooler temperatures for us on Saturday for places like Fremont County and for Colorado Springs. But the moisture, certainly the best touch there. Hey, stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, hello. I'm the new guy. Tell me about this epic stuff, Crispy.